A special bond that unites Loyola women soccer players is a common interest in speech pathology. Many Loyola women soccer graduates have gone on to earn degrees in that field. Currently, the team has three players in all different stages within the major. Juliana Cabrera, Beth Eversman, and Sarah Bayer share many similarities beyond their love for soccer. Speech language pathology is a very broad field. And it feels funny because on this campus, you know, we have these liberal arts majors, um, business and English, which are kind of broad fields of study, and speech language hearing sciences feels pretty niche. Once you get into the field, there's a huge range of possibilities for potential employment. So we work with young babies in the neonatal intensive care unit all the way through geriatric patients and really everybody in between. You could be in a trauma center. I did my training at University of Maryland Shock Trauma Center, so super intense. You can be in a rehab center, anywhere along that continuum of care. We treat patients with communication disorders, swallowing disorders, language disorders, speech disorders, things like that. I've worked with autistic kids at a school specialized for autism and then I've worked at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia just to shadow and see you know the clinical side as well as the acute care side so I've kind of seen a lot of different aspects of it. We talk a lot about rapport and that's just like one-on-one -on -one with your client and making sure that they feel comfortable and it's very rewarding and it's kind of exciting like looking at my future like I see the speech pathologists do what they do and it's like wow I can actually like fit in and like do this and it's exciting. I think that you have to be really understanding with people and just understand that like sometimes things come harder to other people and you have to like really work with them and you have to be passionate about it. Some people are given something and then at some point in life it's taken away and it's like our job to help them get back to where they were or to be the best of their ability. Speech impediments or just you know learning how to communicate at all is so important to one's confidence and to be a part of that I think is a huge reward to be able to build someone's confidence to give them what they need to talk in front of a crowd of people or just to talk to someone one-on-one -on -one. I think it's really important to be able to do that and to be happy with how you're doing it I think a speech therapist brings more than just fixing a stutter I would say the common personality traits among people in our field uh, both students and professionals are that we are highly motivated and hardworking you know those are qualities of good athletes right so that's why the soccer players do so well in our programs and I think that as a professional we need a strong academic base and we also have to be able to connect with people clinically and we teach our students all of those skills. Beth and Juliana have really been there for me if I ever have a question about this study, if I'm ever like unsure about something or have a question about some problem that we're doing like in the classroom. So it's really fun to kind of have that, you know, little community within already small community. I think that it's really special because it kind of gives us something to like be proud about. I'm like really grateful for the program. The staff is amazing. They're very supportive and they're always there if you need anything. Their tenacity and coachability on the field translate to work ethic and teachability in the classroom, which is great. They are bright and engaging and energetic. They're assets in the classroom. They're just really fun to have around and they're super hard workers, so I appreciate that.